U.S. Custom Patrol agent seizing more than $700,000 worth of designer counterfeit clothes, shoes, and purses in Norfolk. So take a look at this gear. Agents say the items arrived in Hampton Roads from South Korea and included knockoff Gucci and Louis Vuitton items. News 3's Leandra Head spoke with a consignment store manager on how you can spot a fake designer item. Worth the wait, consignment shop in Virginia Beach resells authentic designer handbags. We've sold two, two Louis Vuittons and a Gucci bag in one day, which is a good day for us. Sales associates here tell me they look for this code in Louis Vuitton bags to tell if it's authentic or not. All Louis Vuittons produced after 1980 have a date code. And the date code is well hidden and discreet. The first two letters indicate the location and the last two digits indicate the date it was made. If it's a newer looking bag that does not have a date code, that's a red flag. Mm -hmm. If it's an older looking bag that does not have a date code, it's very possible that it is still authentic. To tell if a bag is authentic, here's another tip. The second thing I look for is the liner, the leather and the stitching. The stitching is always going to be perfect. Worth the wait only sells real designer items, but some groups have been trying to make huge profits off of fake designer items. Just last week, Norfolk Customs and Border Officers say they seized 68 items worth more than $700,000 that came from South Korea. The items included fake Gucci and Louis Vuitton. There's people out there that say, well, I know it's fake, but I can afford it, so I'm just going to get one and I'll have a fake one. But again, they don't know how that thing was made. Are they using child labor to make those? Are they using forced labor to make those? We just don't know. Mark Lario with Norfolk Customs and Border Protection couldn't say if the suspects have been caught due to not wanting to jeopardize the case, but says Homeland Security is investigating the seizure of counterfeit items. If they are federally prosecuted, uh, the first offense could be up to 10 years incarceration. Uh, for repeat offenders, it could be as many as 20 years incarceration. The Norfolk Customs and Border Protection Office says they see around 15 to 20 shipments of counterfeit items a year at a retail value of hundreds of thousands of dollars. I'm Leandra Head, News 3.